Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. In this video, I'm going to show you email alerts for your critical systems from Grafana to your email address. And in this case, I'm going to be using Gmail. We're going to be getting an email attach attachment of a snapshot of the status of the dashboard at the time when the alert was generated, as you can see right here. This will be going to your email in real time so you can actually see that you got an alert and you get a dashboard dashboard notification as you can see I already have some that I was testing with once you set it up you'll be able to get alerts from wherever you are and be able to know when something is wrong in your environment if this is important to you go ahead and watch until the end so the first thing that you're going to need is to sign into your Grafana server. If you're new to Grafana, make sure to check out my channel, IT Security to Home Labs. I have a description, link in the description below. And I do have a Grafana for Beginners series that I actually set up. And you can watch from the beginning to the end, and you'll be able to set up your own Grafana instance in no time. So if you're new to Grafana, make sure to check out all these videos that I have and they're under this playlist free complete Grafana course and you can do this on your own time and you can start from video 0 up to video 12 for free so once you have a Grafana set up in your instance I'm going to be using this test environment that I have here that I use mostly for recording YouTube videos so you want to go ahead and SSH into that environment. Your Grafana server. Then, once you're in, in my Grafana server is called Monitor in this case, you want to go ahead and edit the configuration file. If you use the default installation and also followed my instructions from my Grafana series, the configuration file should be in this location. This is for the full Grafana installation. This is not for Docker installations. So once it, if it's in this location, go ahead and make sure that you can actually open and edit that file. So VI, my favorite text editor. You can use Vim if you have Vim installed. So once you enter, you want to make sure that you go to Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. You want to search for that and you see that there's an email SMTP location here you want to go ahead and uncomment everything that I'm going to show you right now you want to uncomment the host if you're using G go ahead and use SNM smtp.gmail.com 465 but if you're using an internal server in your network Make sure that these settings match whatever you have and your server IP or name right here. You also want to go ahead and uncomment the user, as you can see right here. And my user is already uncommented, and I'm using alert grafana lab at gmail.com. That's an email address that I created at Gmail for this testing. So you can send me emails there if you want. I probably won't be checking it, but and the password is alert1234. I'll change this password before I upload this video, so don't get too excited about getting into this Gmail account. You also want to make sure that uh, skip verify is uncommented. By uncommented, I mean you're removing this semicolon right here. Verify is set to true. You can even change from address and make it whatever address you want, but I'm making it from the same address. From name, I'm using from Grafana. As you can see right here. So, and that's it. Once you have everything configured the way you're looking at right now, so make sure you can pause this video if you are using Gmail. Pause the video, take a screenshot of this and match the settings, put your own Gmail address here, and you'll be good to go. 
otherwise uh, you can just write and quit after that make sure that you restart grafana by using this uh, command service grafana so you have a restart and once you do that you're ready to go to your grafana instance to set up alerts so to be able to set up alerts you want you want to go to grafana then um then go to notification channels add new call it email once you call it email type will be email you can choose to send on all alerts if you want choose include image which will take a snapshot that will show you the image that you're looking at right here or this image that you might get for say memory like this one so that's what happens when you check the checkbox include email image then you can put any email email addresses that you want here for example I can say alex at myhelabs.com you put a comma say grafana I'll at gmail.com so as long as you put all these emails separated by not a comma but a semicolon like that everyone in this list will get the alerts so that's how you send alerts and you can even do a send test so whoever owns grafana alerts at gmail.com is definitely getting a test from me and they would have to actually respond back to me so that's how you set it up and once you're done your notification channel you will have email and as you can see i have alerts at grafana lab or alert Profana lab at gmail.com. So if I do a send test and then I go to the email address, I should get a test notification as you can see right here. So once you get this test you notification, you know it works. Now you are ready to just go and create an alert on any dashboard that you want to get notified on. So this is very simple and straightforward. We're getting an image, we're getting the error message and we're also getting the alert in our email but just for uh, this demo I'll be I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how to set up an alert say um, let's just set an alert on CPU uptime so if I do an edit please note that alerts are not supported on Zabbix uh, as a data source, I'm just using this as a test. So, if you do an alert, you can create. Say, if it's above, I just want to say 10. So, if, if it's above 10%, I want an alert. This will guarantee an alert me, to me right now. So, I can say test rule, notifications, I want email. You can say hi CPU you can type whatever you want here it doesn't matter but um, that's how you set up uh, a late notification as you can see now I just got an email from the alert that I set up and it's saying CPU time alert high CPU and it sends me a graph of what's what the problem is I can see that and again please note that the reason why I'm getting this error message is because I'm trying to get alerts from Zabbix and Zabbix already handles alerts and uh, it doesn't support Grafana but if you have alerts for any other dashboards that you created you have followed other videos that I have you'll be able to get alerts and actually a real message but in this case we're just getting alerts is it in this demo and I wanted to show you pretty quick how to do that so now that you know you can get alerts in a screenshot, this is the same thing as you can see in this 
uh, email notification. This is exactly how we can set up alerts. As long as you go in your Grafana and actually put in the correct server right here, as long as your information is correct under your SMTP configuration, alert notification channel is your email right here, you should be good to go. So as long as you do this and you can send a test and you get a test like I did, you are good to go. This is exactly how we set alerts in Grafana. This can be very helpful, especially if you have servers that are running critical services. Like for me, the one server that I would really like to get alerts on is definitely this one right here. Let me show you. Um, this is my domain controller. And if anything goes down on this server, I will definitely get a call from my users. So I'll definitely want to make sure that I set up alerts, for example, for uptime on this server and also alerts for maybe memory usage. As you can see, I already have one that's actually running. So this is exactly how I set up alerts. If you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Otherwise, I'll be posting more videos like this and showing you guys how to actually set up Grafana and other monitoring systems. In this era, data is king. If you know data, if you have data, you are the person that people are going to trust. So I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll play with more data in Grafana and other monitoring systems.